Hey guys, it's your Ford Mustang here, and today we're going to be celebrating New Year's in Ultimate Driving. Now I'm not sure if there's going to be a party or not, but I'm recording in case there's you know, not going to be a party, which there probably won't be. But they have a new update out for us in honor of New Year's that they released on New Year's Eve. 2021 is a year that everyone looks forward to and I'm looking forward to a positive year ahead and make sure that I change myself to a positive direction for 2021 and the foreseeable future. It is 11 52 p.m. Easter Standard Time and we are going to find out what happens if there is a party or not. I'm going to make my final decision at 11 55 p.m. and I'll let you guys know with an update and I'll also do a countdown of how many minutes are left until midnight and once it's midnight I'll be there excited to say Happy New Year to everyone. So yeah Let's get right into the video. So it turns out that there is not going to be an ultimate driving party this year. Being only that there is a few minutes left to New Year's and Easter Standard Time. There are five minutes left. Three minutes left. Two minutes to chill until 2021 arrives in Easter Standard Time. One minute until 2021. Oh, it's so nice to finally head into 2021. This is the final minute of 2020 in Issa Standard Time as I'm recording this. I'm so excited to finally get into the positivity and start off a whole new year. Make a New Year's resolution that I'm going to stop being so tough on myself. And I'm going to be positive on every aspect, no matter what happens. I am looking forward to when the minute changes from 11.59 p.m. to 12 a.m. on 1-1-2021. And I'm looking at the clock right now to see what the moment when that clock will change to the next minute. Yes! Happy New Year! Just 
So as you saw back earlier in the video, you saw that me and a bunch of people were setting off fireworks to celebrate New Year's. As I'm recording this, it's now January 2nd. The fireworks are still there, but you can no longer get them onto your hand and activate them. There's still a square that pops up, but you can't really activate the fireworks. And the score is probably going to be removed very soon after I record this. So now let's get into the other stuff that's been added into the new update to celebrate New Year's of 2021. We are going to start off with the off-roader Volkswagen Beetle. If you go into the dealership, you'll notice that this new vehicle called the Cone Soft Pearl Off-Road has been out of the game. I already bought the limited edition car, so it's in my garage. But it has some perks and upgrades compared to the original version of the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. It has a top speed of 85 miles per hour, which the original one only has a top speed of 83 miles per hour. It has 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds compared to the original one that only has 8 seconds in 0 to 60 miles per hour time. Now this does earn you less cash per mile than the original Volkswagen Beetle does. The off-road version earns you 403 credits per mile, being that's a free limited edition car. However, the regular version offers you more at 431 credits per mile and another difference that is key to these beetles are the drivetrain of course the off-road version is off of course the off-road version is all-wheel drive or it could be four-wheel drive as well but we know that this one in particular has an all-wheel drivetrain while the original one is rear wheel drive. The off-road version, and like I said, it's free for a limited time. So now we are going to test drive it, as well as review it. We are going to go over some of the stuff this car has before we do a test drive on it. If you notice the looks between the two cars, You'll notice that on the off-road car, it has a wing on it. Unlike the regular version, you can tell that this Beetle, in particular on the off-road version, has a little bit more performance to it. I guess 22 Pilots wanted to show the uniqueness of this vehicle by adding a wing on it. We also noticed that it has off-road tires that come in default when you select them from buying it in the dealership. You could change the tires if you want to, but the off-roading condition would be best if you were just to select the original off-road tires that the Beetle has, or if you know any other good off-road tires that would be useful for off-roading conditions. And the last difference between the two cars is that the off-road Beetle looks higher than the regular one does. The car is relatively small in size. It can fit in small parking spaces, but it's not as small as the Smart for Two or anything. It does have a nice classic look to it, even though it's modified with that wing and those off-road tires. If you go into the interior, you can get a sense of what it looks like. It has that classic steering wheel and lever. 
and it has gray seats kind of like mats in the color of the interior so it turns out that the off-road version of this beetle does not have any back seats but it looks like it does now let's go over the headlights and turn signals Acceleration from zero to full speed begins in three, two, one, go. So the acceleration from zero to full speed is about 10 seconds. The acceleration from zero to 60 claims it has four seconds in the dealership. But really, it's about 6 or 7 seconds. More likely, I think it's 6. And if you notice back there, between gears, the acceleration was fidgeting as I went from gear 1 to gear 2, and so on up to 60 miles per hour. And as you saw back there, the braking on this is absolutely phenomenal. You can literally brake in a second with this thing. That's how quick the braking is. It's probably the fastest braking vehicle in the entire game. And you see how fast that was. I don't think there's any other vehicle out there that brakes faster than this. Now that is something you don't find on the regular version of the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. Now for the handling. And I gotta say, handling is pretty good on this car. And swerving does a great job as well. But especially at turns is where this thing is a champion at, at handling. Now for the moment you've been waiting for with the term used in this car for the title, off-road. We're going to test it out if this thing is really good at off-roading. Despite that it has its off-road term on the title. Alright, off-roading the off-road edition of the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. And I gotta say, this does a pretty good job at off-roading, but I notice that when it goes up some hills, the speed decreases. So it's not really the most ideal off-roader, but it gets the job done, as it does pretty well with off-roading. The only con with the off-roading of this car is that, you know, it fidgets a little at speed and the gear ratio also goes by way too quick. So this is definitely modified to the next level. That's going to be it for the video right there. If you liked the video, be sure to smash the like button, comment your thoughts below about this New Year's video. The New Year's celebration itself and the stuff that was available in this update, such as the Volkswagen Beetle Offloader and your thoughts about the new secret tunnel that got added on Mount Astley. Join my Discord server located in the description if you haven't checked it out already. And be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications as I like to upload ultimate driving content. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.